Johnny. Hey YouTube, how are you guys? Nice to see you. I'm driving right now. Um, I have about 45 minutes to go. <laughs> I've just been so busy at home, um, mostly with research for the other channel, the Salty Psychic channel. Um, you have found me here on Audrey Christine, behind the scenes of a psychic. What is life like for a psychic? Well, it's just like any other life, chaos, stress, and everything else. So I took Johnny this morning. We left the house at eight and we drove an hour in really unfriendly traffic conditions. I literally had a little bit of a panic attack driving on the way to his appointment. This was for a neurology appointment. He's fine, it's just trying to establish a new neurologist since leaving San Jose. Why is this such a problem? How come there's hardly any neurologists outside San Jose and San Francisco? I don't, I don't understand. So this doctor actually wants to lower his medication a little bit. I, I already knew what, I know what's going on with Jonathan's condition. And this guy's like, you only need to come here once or twice a year. Uh, I'll put in the order for his medications, but otherwise he can just see his family doctor. It's like, yeah, I know. I know, I know, but I have to establish a neurologist for him. So here we are, we're done. Like in San Jose, our, his neurologist was actually in San Francisco. We loved her, but she retired. So yeah, a lot of people have to travel to go see specialists. That's nothing new. Anyway, uh, busy at home watching so many crime cases. That's all I've been doing, basically. I've been watching two and three different cases at once, literally, because I can be listening to one, watching it, and then I can read the, the words on, an, on the second one, and then the third one. <laughs> it's just a juggling act trying to watch all these criminal cases at once, but it's like feast or famine. It's like sometimes there's nothing to talk about in crime. And then all of a sudden, boom, everyone at the same time is going to trial or there's new cases that are really, really interesting and stuff like that. So if you like true crime, go to the other channel. It's uh, uh, Salty Psychic, the Salty Psychic dash Audrey Briggs. I think my handle for that channel is at Audrey Briggs 99, I think. I think, I think that's me. Anyway, you can see Johnny in the back. Uh, but let me tell you about a new recipe. Oh, before I share the new recipe, I have a website. You might know my website, saltypsychic.com, saltypsychic.com. You can go there and book a reading. You can go there and purchase some little art pieces that help support the channels, helps support both channels. And then um, you can also find, I'm gonna be putting recipes on there. So you can find the corn, Kona cornbread recipe that I've mentioned before. That's on the website. It's at the bottom of the page of the website. So if you go to saltypsychic.com and just scroll to the bottom, you're gonna find that Kona cornbread recipe. Um, all the directions, the temperature of the oven, blah, 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 that's all there. Um, if you have tried the Kona cornbread, let me know how you love it. It's fattening, it's very fattening, <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> if you like Southern food, you're gonna like the cor Kona cornbread. New recipe coming later in the video. Well, there's certainly no traffic going home. I mean, there's cars on the road. 
but not like it was going to the doctor. You know, on the freeway when they're they're working on the road and they, they make the freeway go down to like one or two lanes and they block you in. You can't get off. So if your exit's right there, you're SOL because you can't get off the freeway. You're blocked in going 70 miles an hour or whatever. It gave me such horrible anxiety. It was awful. It's like, I can't believe this. I, I, I'm going to have a... Getting a panic attack today. I wasn't expecting to have a panic attack today. So, but you know what? That's how it goes. That's how it rolls, that panic attack. It comes in whenever it freaking feels like it, tears you to shreds, and then it's like, okay, bye. And then, you know, I'm left exhausted, emotionally exhausted from having all that scary feeling. But I'm fine now. Oh, and then I wanted to tell you, I'll put a picture right here of the magnesium that I've been taking for menopause symptoms. Um, because as you go through menopause and you're done, even done with menopause, apparently our bodies really need magnesium. I was told to take 4,200 mgs of magnesium. First of all, I don't like swallowing pills. I have anxiety. So taking any pill is a big deal because it's stressful for me. So taking three tablets, three, three of these capsules a day was very, very stressful for me. Second of all, it felt like the magnesium tablets, well, they're not tablets, they're capsules. It felt like they were getting stuck in my throat or my chest. Like I could feel like the, the capsule was opening and all the magnesium, I, I don't know. It just, it, they didn't sit well with me, these capsules. They were not sitting well with me. Three capsules was way too much to take at a time because you have to take them with food as well. You know, if you only eat once or twice a day, it's like, okay, I'm eating, so now I gotta down all, all of these capsules at one time. And that's just one of my supplements. I have a ton. I take two handfuls of pills a day, one in the morning, one at night. And the magnesium, <clears throat> one of the nice side effects is it makes you go potty. Uh, I have chronic constipation. I have always had chronic constipation. And everyone's, you know, when I had bladder surgery, they're like, you know, just take, have some fiber. I could take, I could eat a box of bran flakes or something and not poop at all, like nothing. The magnesium works. It works so well taking three, three capsules. It's like, bathroom emergency every day bathroom emergency every day I can't go shopping because I might shit my pants I might I might I might shit my pants in public you know what I mean it's like even if you're at the store by the time you find the bathroom it's like I don't have it's awful so I decided to only take one capsule of the magnesium per day that's all I can do right now I'm sorry menopause queen god the menopause god uh sorry i can only do one the good thing is it's still pushing me to use the bathroom not in an emergency way but a nice calm way there's no violence i hate violent diarrhea i hate it it you know your stomach hurts um anyway uh so I'm doing one tablet a day. Excuse me, one capsule a day. Why do I keep saying tablet? It's not a tablet. Ch -ch Slap myself. Oh, don't you love these Teslas where they're not driving? It's so unnerving. You're going down the freeway going whatever speed you're going. I'm not saying. Um, and the person next to you is asleep in their car by themselves in a Tesla. <laughs> I can't get used to that. I cannot get used to that. 
Um, but along with the magnesium, I um, read in several places, different medical articles and um, the doctor on YouTube um, recommend taking a vitamin D supplement with the magnesium. The vitamin D supplement is a gel, gel tab. You know, it's, it's made, it's just like oil, I guess. Um, anyway, it's real small, easy to take, slides right down, no problem. Um, but you do have to take those two together in order for the magnesium to work, apparently. I don't, whatever. I don't want to get into medical stuff. I don't need to know everything. I don't want to know everything. Um, <clears throat> someone left a comment. I don't know if it was on this channel or the other channel. <laughs> but they said, this person said, oh my God, your voice is like nails on a chalkboard. Where have you been, bitch? Where have you been? That was so 2018. Everyone knows I have a bad voice. That's old, old, old news. Everyone knows I have an awful, screechy, nasally, high-pitched, awful voice. This is not new news to me. This is old news. And I normally I wouldn't respond, but I responded and I'm like, yeah, that's what my husband says. My husband feels the same way. He's like, oh, I know. And we're just laughing together. We're like, yeah, so what? Everyone knows that's your voice. That's one of the things that makes you you. All right. Well, it's the next day. I'm back in the car. And it's time to go get eyelashes done. I mean, they look, they look okay. But they'll look even better after I go see my guy. I love my guy. <laughs> All right, it's raining. That's, well, I, I shouldn't say it's unexpected because I think it was in the forecast, but I'm just not used to all this water. What do we do? What do we do with this water? I remember uh, one time the kids and I were traveling and we were in Germany and um, we knew rain was a possibility before we left on the trip, so I did bring an umbrella. And we were trying to get into the German Museum, I think it was called in Munich, and um, it started sprinkling, and it's like, oh, get the umbrella out. And I literally forgot, I had forgotten how to open an umbrella. I literally, I'm like, wait, how do I do this? I, it, it was, yeah, it was a funny moment. The kids and I are just laughing. And then all three of us fit under that little umbrella. But, yeah, I appreciate the rain. I know some people are like, well, yeah, we need it. But enough is enough. Well, no, you're probably not from California. Um, my whole life, my whole life has been a drought. <laughs> all of it. Why does my seat feel weird? Dang it. I hate when my seat has been messed with. It just irks me to no end. And I, it could only be one person messing with my seat. Hubby. But I do have some painting I want to do um, after I get back from my lashes. So working on some little paintings. They're super fun. They're just, I don't know. I just really, really enjoy doing any kind of artwork with any kind of medium. Um, so, and I, what, by medium, what I mean is acrylic paint, watercolors, oil, chalk pastels, charcoal. Um, I've even used like tissue paper on canvas. Um, all kinds of things. Whatever will fit on a canvas. 
Um, so it's kind of fun. I mean, you can do anything. Anything is art. That's the thing. It's never wrong. You may not like a particular artist's style, but it doesn't mean it's a bad painting or a bad piece of art. Uh, you, you can't argue people's feelings and emotions and that's what art is. It's the artist's feelings and emotions coming out <laughs> onto a surface. And the funny thing is, um, I always have like, I'll have a picture in my mind of what I want to do. It never turns out like that ever. Um, but yeah, check out the art. Oh my God, I just found a classical music station on the radio. This puts me in heaven. Chamber music. This is called chamber music. Oh my God. This gives me the chills. I used to play classical music. Um, I, I, oh God, I just love this. I'm gonna cry. I haven't heard, I haven't heard classical music in so long. play um I'm I'm a musician so I used to play in a symphony orchestra uh, I play the flute I can play any wind instrument um yeah if you know how to read music you can basically play anything I taught myself how to play the violin I play the piano this music brings me back to a past life in France. I know it's nuts. I know it's nuts. I know that. Um, this makes me so freaking happy right now. I literally feel like crying. I have not heard music since leaving San Jose. I was a member of the place in San Francisco. So... Oh my God, you have no idea how happy I am right now. Uh, this this music soothes me. It's, it's... Music by Antonio Vivaldi. Oh, Vivaldi, I love Vivaldi. Oh my God. Uh, so happy. <laughs> now, music is interesting, and I, I think I have figured out why I like some music and why I don't like other music basically the only music I can't stand and will refuse to listen to. You're going to hate it. You're going to hate what I'm going to say right now, but that's country music. I love I love country as far as living out in the country, um, having a country accent. I don't care about that. But singing country music literally um, disrupts my energy. I know that sounds weird. Um, but you know, music is energy and it has a graph, you know, my, my energy doesn't do well with country music energy. Uh, I just can't, I've tried and tried and tried and like whenever I would go out with someone on a date or something, it's like, do you like country music? Yes. Okay. Well, never going to see him again. Uh, cause I will not, I cannot tolerate country music. I just cannot. It makes, it puts me in this instant mood where I'm like angry or something. I'm just like, I'm going to, I don't know. I can't, I got to run. I got to run away. It's just awful to my ears. Uh, but I know everybody loves freaking country music. <clears throat> I have always loved classical music since I was a little kid. When I was a young mom in Santa Cruz, um, I remember holding Sarah on my hip 
and um, we were dancing around to classical music. And um, I think I think my daughter likes classical music. I know Benjamin does. Um, I don't like whatever that is. That's opera. Don't care for opera. All right. So I'm early. So I'm just going to sit here and talk for a minute. I wanted to tell you about a new recipe. Um, I think this recipe I saw, I, it was either Instagram or, or um, YouTube. But I kind of changed it around to fit my my needs. Um, it's a cauliflower recipe. I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat meat. Um, so I'm always trying to find new things to eat and see, things that are satisfying. Um, you know, it's hard to get a full tummy that is going to keep you full for any length of time uh, without protein. Um, this this meal doesn't really have protein, but it just really satisfies that need for comfort food. Um, it's cauliflower. You, you slice the cauliflower into steaks. So basically, just from the top to the bottom of the cauliflower, you're just making slices of it and laying the flat pieces of the cauliflower down like this. Um put a little red sauce on the on the cookie sheet. I used aluminum foil, some pasta sauce, cauliflower, more pasta sauce, garlic, um, and I have some crushed garlic, so I just like sprinkled garlic on every steak, every cauliflower steak, and then start layering it with all the toppings. So I did a Parmesan layer, and then I did a... Um, cheese combination of yellow and white i think it's fiesta blend or mexican blend it's called um next time i make it i'm going to use some mexican cheese which is so freaking delicious nice and salty <laughs> um and that's it and you bake it in the oven i baked it for almost 25 minutes on at 375 and the way you know it's done is you grab a fork and kind of poke the fork into the cauliflower if it goes in easy you're done take it out if it's kind of hard still to get down there it's not done enough for me i need a little more softer um but you don't want it too soft um, but you, you'll see the cheeses start to crisp up and everything. And some of the cauliflower falls off into little bits. And those are the best bits. Are those little cheesy, crunchy bits. If you don't like using a big knife and you want to try this recipe, I would recommend getting a bag of frozen cauliflower florets. So just the end parts. Not the stalk, not the thick, straight, smooth parts, not that part. You just want the florets. Same thing. Lay down your sauce, throw the cauliflower down, more sauce, garlic, cheese, olives. Put whatever you want. Um, if you eat meat, you can top it with maybe some pre-made ground hamburger or bacon. You can put bacon on anything. Um, sausage, you can use any meat, chicken, anything on top and bake it the same way, but make sure the meat is already cooked. Basically, you're just, um, heating everything up and getting it crispy in the oven. Um, I could see olives on here. I could see taking it out of the oven and putting sour cream and avocado if you want, um, my husband recommended a white sauce. I'm not really into white sauce. Um, so, but you could use barbecue sauce and like I said, bacon. Um, you could put, you could put different bean, beans on it. I mean, you can do anything. You put anything on, on the cauliflower, but it's really, really good. And when you make it in a steak, uh, you are getting some of that stock. Um, in one section of the piece of steak, you're getting some stock, but if it's cooked right, the stock will be um, soft as well. So it's not like you have to gnaw and really uh, try to, to chew all that harder bits of the cauliflower up. Do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I have, I have so many eating, eating 
<laughs> issues. <laughs> so you have something, I don't like the way a lot of things feel in my mouth. And so I will just spit it out. Obviously, I find plenty of things that make my mouth happy because this is fat. Okay. So um, I make do. Um, but anyway, give that a try. The next time I make it, I'll film it for you. But I don't know when that's going to be. But I wanted to get the recipe out to you. And then as a reminder, go to saltypsychic.com. If you scroll to the bottom, that's where the Kona cornbread recipe is. Um, so you can go there, check out that cornbread recipe, which is so good. All right. Well, I'm five minutes early. I'm going to go hang out and wait for him and uh, grab him as he gets here. He okay, I'm back. My eyes are watering a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so after you get your eyelashes done, you have to put the um, fan on your eyelashes because the, the glue is really strong. Um, normally they don't, they're not bothered this bad, but whatever, it's fine. I'll keep doing it. So, yeah, so you can see the difference of the before and after. There we go. So, um, he goes, remember I did, like, I had a dog coming for him, remember? I told you guys that, um... I saw my eyelash guy with a purse puppy. That spirit showed me he had a purse puppy. And he's like, yeah, I do. Um, you know, but he wasn't sure. Uh, you know, whatever. He wasn't sure. He didn't say much. So I didn't offer any other information. But today, right now, he goes, oh, remember that time? <laughs> remember that time you were here and you felt some dog energy? He goes, there was a lady in here and she could hear you talking but she didn't want to interrupt us so she didn't say anything till like the next time she came in she thinks you were channeling her dog that they were just about to put down I guess later that day or whatever so I don't think that's the dog that um I saw I don't think so but maybe she's um she's needing a reading it sounds like but um anyway I go well you know what my youtuber I said I'm a youtuber and uh my subscribers um tell me that like I need to start giving you all these messages and stuff that I'm getting uh, for you uh, I said but I didn't know if you're open to it he goes oh I'm totally open to it so I said oh I said okay well I keep hearing the name Joey Joseph um I said do you know a Joey or Joseph or Joe or no I said do you know a Joey or Joseph he goes no but I have an uncle Joe and his son is Joe Jr. yes that's what it means of course that's what I'm talking about what's People don't understand how this works. Yes, Joe is the same thing as Joseph or Joey or whatever. The Joe, Joey, Joe, Joe. So I said, okay. And I can't talk when I lay down. There's something in my, my sinuses or something. It like, I can't talk. It sounds really funny when I talk when I lay down. So I said, well, maybe I can come early next time. And, um, we can figure this out what's going on with Joey or Joseph Joe so um yeah so we'll see I don't know if I don't know if he wants to take time to to do an actual reading while he's at work but um so anyway I was right <laughs> I was right I was right so we'll see what other information comes through. And this is how spirit is. It's like, spirit, just give me the freaking details, man, so I can tell him. You know, I can be, give me some clear information. But it's always like this mystery. It's always guesswork a lot of times. Like, I have to figure it out. I have to be a detective and figure out what spirit's telling me. But with this situation... Um, I do feel like it's an elder of the family. 
Um, and that's not a term I have ever used before, but it's an elder. That's what I'm hearing. It's the elder of the family. Um, like, you know how there's like one person in charge of the whole family, you know, that keeps the family together and everything. So I feel like that's who's coming into my presence and bringing up the name Joe. Um, so why would Spirit be, be bringing that up? So Joe and Joe Jr. are alive. So what about him? What, you know, uh, what could I possibly offer? Well, the, the thing is, the um, Spirit probably wants me to meet with Joe or Joey or Joseph, whoever, um, because something's going on with them. I don't need to necessarily meet with these people, but I can still give them messages um, from Spirit such as encouragement. Um, these these men are pro probably going through some personal stuff, some difficulties, and it would be helpful helpful to them if they could hear from this loved one who is passed away, this this elder of the family. Um, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting visions right now as I'm talking. I see the man at church. Of course, it's a Catholic church. Uh, cause they're Hispanic. Um, so yes, I'm getting information right now, but, um, that's how spirit works. They work through third parties or even, you know, a friend of a friend of a friend. Sometimes messages are for, so it's, it's confusing. Um, I try now to not say something until I've really thought about it more instead of just blurting out information um i'd rather give quality over quantity oh excuse me oh god i'm gonna go home take a nap I'm so tired anyway so that's good so that's two things for my 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 friend at the eyelash place he didn't ask the name of my channel <laughs> this man it's like what is your problem? Why don't you ask me questions? Oh, watch out, sir. Watch out, watch out. Um, anyway. He's just that kind of guy, I guess, my eyelash guy. He's not, he's not, I mean, he's flamboyant, but he's not that flamboyant. He's not pushing for any information or anything, so. Anyway, we'll see. Let's go home and have a nap. All right, so it's Tuesday morning and I have some errands to run again. It's been really busy the last week or so just doing stuff. Um, <clears throat> I had my mammogram yesterday. It was fine. No problems. I had a lot of anxiety, though, because um, I went to a new medical center I uh, hadn't been any to the doctor since I moved from San Jose. So I had a lot of anxiety about going to the place. So I went to the place the day before to check it out. Where do I park? Which entrance do I go into? And stuff like that. So, but everyone was super friendly. Um, and um, I, I got a little nervous because the reception told me that I don't have a doctor so how am I going to do a mammogram if I don't have a doctor? But it's, for me, it's an annual thing with my insurance company. It's just, you just walk in normally. And I thought, well, can't you give the results to my doctor in San Jose? So anyway, um, I got a new doctor and I'll see this doctor. I didn't see her yesterday, Um but I'll actually see her and meet her on Thursday for my cervical um, screening, which came back with something last time on it. And I'm freaking out. And I had text my sister or called my sister because she's an RN in OBGYN. And she's like, honestly, everybody has this. Like, everybody has something. It's not even a big deal. Um, I don't even remember what it was. I just remember thinking, all right, so I guess it's fine. So um, anyway, uh, I, it'll be interesting to see if it comes back. I would assume that it comes back. HPV, is that what it is? HPV? I don't even know what that means, honestly. Um, so whatever that is. <laughs> um don't panic. I don't, don't, don't scare me. If you, <laughs> if 
you were going to say something bad, don't scare me about it. I don't want to, I don't want to know. No, but um, ladies, we have to do our annual or every other year check-ins. We have to, you have to have that mammogram. I've been doing them since I was 35, 36 because I had a breast reduction. I had to um, start having them before surgery. Um, and I remember thinking it was so gross, just that big blob of boob, you know, hanging there on the platter. And I thought I hated them. I hated my boobs so much. It's like, I don't care. You can just squish them. Just keep that thing going. Just squish them all the way down till they like cinch off. Like, I don't even want them. Just cut them off. And that was something that was probably the best thing I've ever done for myself, having that reduction. So I highly recommend it. Um, anyway, so that was fine. Yeah, it kind of hurts, but it's fine. You know, you just you, you gotta you gotta just get through it. You have to kind of remove yourself from the situation because it's like, yeah, there's a strange woman touching my boobs. Um, mm, a little mm, uncomfortable. Um, you can't wear deodorants and I hate, I hate not smelling good and it's just gross. Anyway, that was fine. And, uh, my hair's dirty, but I can't take a shower right now. I have too much to do right now so um i'm just gonna use some of this spray let me show you um oh my glasses are filthy this is hask hair and skin kindness that's what h-a-s-k means free of aluminum and talc coconut dry shampoo long lasting oil absorption absorption so that's what this does it just absorbs the moisture, the oil, and kind of takes it away. Um, yeah, it's not great for the environment, but you know what? I, I can't, I can't save everybody. I can't save the whole planet. I can try, but so you should get it at the roots. So basically, wherever my gray is, And you have to be careful because some of these make your hair turn white. And it's like, oh, my God. So when I had black hair and did this, I would have like this white film, which was not cool. And it smells really good. So you feel fresh. I'll put my clippies back in. I have a hair appointment right before I go on, before I go to London. So someone gave me a compliment. Thank you. I think it was on the other channel about my gray hair. Um, thanks. Yeah, it's, it's gray. Um, so I'm, I'm letting, you know, the black, this was all black. So she stripped it. I actually like this color. Anyway, um, she said she's going to put some low lights in here next time. I don't know if I want to do that because then that means maintenance. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know if I should just go like completely gray and then maybe I don't know what I'm going to do. Honestly, I just don't. Um, so I'm going to try and give you guys a recipe every week in the vlog. Um, I've been looking around at some more recipes veggie of course i'm vegetarian i'm not touching meat i am not gonna touch it i don't i don't want to smell it um but if you like meat and you eat meat then you do you you enjoy your meat there's nothing wrong with you eating meat well audrey really we should stop eating meat because of the planet i know but i can't babysit everybody you know what i mean i can't <laughs> i can't hold everyone's hand i only have two hands myself so by the way, if you haven't watched the video, the live show we did, us ladies, um, making your own passport with your new life in it, please go back and watch that video. <clears throat> 
please go back and watch the video on how to make your own passport. This is not a legal document. This is not trying to escape the country. <laughs> this is a life-changing tool. I promise you works. So I've had, I've had lots of things happen in here already. There's been so many changes in my life. Um, big, the biggest one being that I'm going to London uh, sporadically all of a sudden. Um, that happened. And that's kind of how this thing works. It's like it's like a vision board, but better. It really, really is. Um, so I've talked about it a few times on the channel, but please, please check it out. Come on, you guys. There's no reason you can't have the life you want. And it's a little craft. It's fun to do. Let your imagination go wild whatever it is you want and you don't have to share it you don't have to put it on the internet like i'm doing you don't have to tell anyone no one needs to know okay this is this is like a diary but even more so because this is your innermost deepest desires <laughs> at least mine are so all right you guys well i'll see you soon i'm gonna go ahead and finish my coffee clean my face a little bit and then i gotta head out for some errands all right you guys take care see you soon ciao